How do you do this is here in this video we are going to learn how to create orthographic sections in Revit and Enscape and then we can create the photo that you see on the screen. The first step is you need to open the Revit model that you want to create this orthographic section with and make sure to enable the section box and then in the plan for example let me make this bigger this is the whole building that I want to create my section and then in plan or in 3D specify the place that you want to create the both section from uh, from the uh, reverse side and the, from the side that you want for example I want to place this side so I will place my section around here and this is my first section and you can see this is the section that we will have and then we can go to the Enscape and let's start Enscape this is the Enscape window you can turn off and hide every, uh, anything that you don't want to see and here for example if you don't want to see the ground you can go to the Revit go to the VG maybe and turn off Sight and Topography and Topo Solid of course now we have the view let's go to the Enscape change it to view type from perspective to orthographic now we have the right uh, view to work with and then we can change the angle that we want this is great and then we can go to the visual setting and do some things with it for example if you a little bit outline is better put the quality on ultra and i don't want any mode in here in the image part we can make the shadows lighter because i don't want harsh shadows in here and you can play with the saturation too for example this is great i don't want to create so much changes in here you can do the same thing in here too and we don't have any sky but the main uh, and the important part is in the output part in the output part you might have to make sure that you are exporting png and you need to check the apply alpha channel to give you a png file and we are set to go and let's click on the screenshot in here this is the image that we've created and now let's uh, create the second shot or let me just create another shot from this with another style and we can create much better image let's go to the uh, main part and put it on white and make sure to bring the outline number a little bit higher that's great and now let's create another shot with this white mode and then we can combine it in Canva or Photoshop. And now let's go back to the Revit. And in here, let's select the section box and let's reverse our section box. Let's bring this one out. It was better to pause the landscape and then resume it again because it will update it every time that you change the section box. Let me go to the landscape tab and let's pause it. And it's enough from this side let's bring it to here from the others and now let's uh, resume the Enscape and let's see the result in Enscape again we need to bring the section box a little bit forward because it's still in the building let me bring it forward it's great from the front side but it's not a great result in Enscape so we have to bring this side a little bit upper to see the windows there too to make it a little bit more realistic now i think it will be better let's go to the enscape yes it is much better and let's create the second shots that we need in here this is the white mode and we will create another with the materials and then we will move to canva let's change the mode from the white to now and let's create another and we have to bring down the outline too because because we have brought it a little bit high this is going to be okay and now that's great now let's zoom out a little bit and now let's create another shot from this and now you can use Canva or any other imaging software that you have for example Photoshop and you can create the image that you saw at the first shot of this video i hope this video was helpful for you make sure to like and share with your friends and colleagues and if you want to learn about creating a waterfall in enscape make sure to click on the video i will put on the screen